Hopper, and I'm playing the game Badlands. This game is so fun because you can get so many different types of power-ups that make the game different and odd in many ways. This game can be really challenging at some points, and sometimes really quick or slow, and even puzzling because you don't know what to do. That is why it makes the game so addicting. So, let's get right to it. This is a player. I call this a Badlander. When you hold down click, you fly. There's a weird background with their animals stalking you, which is kind of weird. But besides that, it's actually kind of peaceful. It's like you're in a swamp, just trying to go your way. These are the stars. I don't get what they're, why they're supposed to resemble eggs, but they just do. When you start the game, this you see this. A small ring, a bunch of random stuff falls out, and then the player falls out. When you click, you can fly. You just try and fly around and get as far as possible without dying. That's something that can kill you. You can get killed by getting stuck, being chainsawed, or just being collapsed on. There are many things that can kill you in this game. And what you want to do is get as far as possible without dying. It's kind of like a Mario game, actually, because you are flying around and you need to get to a pipe instead of a flagpole. Here are the power-ups in the game. The first power-up is this one. This makes your Badlander larger than normal. It can, it can be bad if you're, because it can get you stuck, but it can be good if you need to, get, if you need to break something. This makes you, your Badlander smaller, which can be good if you need to get through something someplace small, but it's not good when you need to get, get break something. Sometimes you have to get really small to get through small things. This also affects your character. Another power-up that you see, or, or this, gives, gives you another Badlander. I find this cool because it's like it's your clone, so you can have a whole bunch of them. But if one dies, then you're st then you'll still be fine because there's the other one you have. This is my favorite power up, the one that makes you faster. This can be good if you want to go through a uh, level fast. It can also be bad because you can get stuck behind. This makes your bedlander slower. This will make it longer to get through a level, and if you get stuck, it'll be easier to get through. Another power-up is a super clone. The super clone gives you a whole bunch of Badlanders. When you get a big or small power-up, it'll, it'll make your Badlanders bigger or smaller. This power-up makes, makes your Badlanders spin very quickly. It can also get you through things like a saw. Or things that you can't get through very easily. For instance, it makes you roll. This one is an opposite roller. It makes you roll, roll backward or stop if you're rolling forward. This can be really crazy and hectic if you're moving really quickly. This power up is actually pretty confusing, but when you but when you get it, it makes your bad lander sticky. This can be really bad if you're tr if you're trying to if you're falling behind. But something that I find that is really awesome about it is that if you go onto a saw, it won't actually kill you. It'll just drag you along to, along to it, and you won't die. Which brings us to our next power up. It's like this orb. When you get it, it makes your guy really bouncy. Or if you're sticky, it gets you back to normal, so then you can die. But if you get it, it'll look like this, and then you'll bounce all over the place. And I think it's really funny because you, it looks really weird when you have a whole bunch of you there just bouncing. It's really funny when you get really small. And here are the obstacles of the game. There are uh, actually just a little bit of them, but because there's, it's pretty much just a puzzler game. 
the first one is these spike balls. It, when you if you touch it, you will die. And this is a saw, which I already went over. It will kill you when you touch it, unless you're bouncy. And another one is these, uh, I guess, Pokeballs. And uh, they will get you stuck to if you, if you touch it. But that's the end of my video. I, I had a really fun time playing this game. And I hope... I'll do one in the future, and goodbye!